Welcome to today's lesson and in this lesson we have to solve this quadratic equation but we're going to be using the method of completing the square. Now when you look at this equation here you might notice that each term is an even number. So we've got the 2, the 8 and the negative 26. So it makes sense to divide the whole thing by 2. So if I go ahead and let's divide everything by 2 just to simplify it a little bit. Obviously these 2's will cancel. The 8 and the 2 would make 4 and the 26 divided by 2 is 13. So we've got x squared plus 4x minus 13 is equal to 0. Now the next thing we need to do is to eliminate the constant from the left hand side. In other words this negative 13. And to do that I need to add 13. And if I do that to the left hand side I do it to the right to keep the equation balanced. This 13 will cancel with this one. So I'm left with x squared plus 4x is equal to 13. The next step is to check if the coefficient in front of the x squared term is equal to 1, which it is. Although there's not a 1 written here because we don't write the 1, it is 1x squared. Now the next thing we're going to do is to complete the square step. In other words, something on the left squared is equal to 13 plus something else squared. Now obviously we'll have an x in here. The x squared will give me the x squared. I then need to look at the coefficient of the x term. So this plus 4. That will give me what goes in here and also over here squared. Now the way we do this it's positive. So obviously I'll have a plus here. We take the coefficient 4 and we divide it by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And obviously on the right hand side, 4 divided by 2, 2, but we need to square this one. So what I've got so far is x plus 2 all squared is equal to 13 plus 2 squared is 4, 13 and 4, well that is 17. The next thing I need to do is to eliminate this squared here. And I do that by taking the square root. And if I take the square root of the left, I must take the square root of the right. And this is where you need to be careful. You must remember that it will be plus and minus. When you take the square root of 17, you'll get a positive and a negative answer. Now on the left hand side, the square root and the squared will cancel. So what I'll have is x plus 2 and that's equal to plus or minus the square root of 17. And the last step is to eliminate the plus 2 here from the left. To do that we subtract 2. I need to do that to the right as well. Subtract 2. I'm left with x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 17. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.